To say that recent Disney Plus shows, specifically MCU, has been subpar would be an understatement, I think, to many fans. Critics and audiences have not been quiet about their unmet expectations when it comes to the recent shows to come out on Disney+. Plus. Ahsoka, which recently wrapped up this fall, was met with a fairly consistent positive reaction every week, but both She-Hulk and Secret Invasion fell on their face upon their premieres. I personally enjoyed aspects of both, but between story, characters, connection to the larger MCU, and the visual effects, there were definitely parts of both that I think could have been massively improved upon. But, according to The Hollywood Reporter, Marvel has heard the complaints and has plans to do a massive overhaul of their television division. In an article mainly focused on the upcoming Daredevil Born Again series, which I've talked about in a separate video, they revealed Marvel's less than traditional method for creating these shows, which included $150 million plus seasons on the fly with no pilots, depending on the film executives to run its series rather than showrunners, and a reliance on post-production and reshoots to fix what wasn't working. All of that will now change. Showrunners will write plots and show bibles. The days of Marvel shooting an entire series, from She-Hulk to Secret Invasion, then looking at what's working and what's not, are done. And just as Loki marked Marvel's first season 2 of a series, the studio will lean into the idea of multi-season serialized television, stepping away from the limited series format. Marvel wants to create shows that run several seasons, where characters can take time to develop relationships with the audience, rather than feeling as if they are there as a setup for a big crossover event. Some of its next shows, in fact, promise to be more personal stories. Echo, which now premieres in January, is a grounded crime story with very few visual effects, revolving around deaf Native American anti-hero Maya Lopez. Wonder Man, a show that was paused because of the writers and actors' strike, is meant to be a behind-the-scenes look at Hollywood and a character study of Simon Williams, a superhero who has a side gig as an actor and stunts person. Personally, I love the sound of this. Before, they were treating these series as extended films, with the same process behind it, and only as a way to connect threads and progress the larger story forward. The Marvel shows that have worked the best have been the ones that have taken the time to slow down and connect us with the characters, like WandaVision, Miss Marvel, and Loki. Ones like Secret Invasion only felt like a rushed excuse to check off that comic storyline off a list and move on with these characters. It was rushed and never felt important or exciting in the grand scheme of things. Allowing these shows to run several seasons lets the story slow down at times and become character-led, rather than rushing along a story to get from point A to point B. Does this make you more confident in the future of the MCU? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like the video and subscribe for more Marvel coverage, and remember to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Thank you all for watching, and remember, the Force will be with you. Always.